when you coach just going into the holiday tour, does that even factor in? No, 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 no. They played. Yeah. Just uh, shut they, they played. No, no, no. You got to give all the credit to St. Michael's. I mean, they they just came out and played hungrier. They hadn't won a game, and uh, they wanted to win the game more than we did. You know, and, and we tried, and we. You know, got back. We got back to two a bunch in the second half. Came out really kind of dictated the game in the second half. And then offensively, we were just, you know, very uh, inconsistent. Um, we turned the basketball over, took bad shots. We just did other things that, you know, you can't do to, to, to win a Northeast End basketball game. So it had nothing to do with the holidays. It had something to do with St. Michael's, and and we we just could never get over the hump. They rebounded the ball better. They uh, shot it better. Um, they handled our pressure, although we were close a few times. We didn't come up with the key loose balls. There were, there were a number of factors, but um, the holidays so it was not a factor. Uh, are you displeased with the with the shot selection, or do you feel like the, they just weren't falling? I mean, are you happy overall? No, with... no. I, I think I think again, St. Michael's pushed put put us in a difficult position, so we, it forced us into tougher shots. But but I think we just succumbed. We we right. we, we kind of gave in and took took tougher shots, which we're capable of making because they made a lot of tough shots as well. So, right. Um, you know, in our, our percent, we, you know, we, they only shot 38% from the floor. So it, it wasn't like they were, you know, running circles around us, but we just couldn't on the other end. I mean, we were 10 for 23 from three. Right. You know, so we just, around the bucket, we were just, you know, we were, we were non-existent. And that's, um, you know, we always try to play inside out. And it's, it's uh, usually... Um, successful for us, but when you don't score inside and you depend on three-point shots right. the entire night, you know, you're not going to come up uh, with a win on most nights, and we just uh, um, didn't score around the basket at all. Do you feel like they defended uh, Akeem, you know, any way specifically, or do you feel like it was just kind of an off night for Akeem no, overall? No, yeah. they, did. they did. I mean, Akeem really, really shared the ball. He had six assists, mm -hmm. and, but uh, the ball wasn't going down, and, you know, he... Uh, you know, he's not at 100%. He didn't play the last two and a half games at 100%. And, uh, but that, that's, that's, that's college basketball. Right. you got to play hurt. you got to right. play tired. And you got to play uh, through adversity. And, and we were right there to win the game. And we can never get the lead. Right. If we got the lead, I think we would have been okay. Yeah, I was going to ask that. I mean, you're right there. You're yeah. within two in, in the second half there. I mean, yeah. you feel like that's a And then we just missed. We, we took quick shots and missed shots. And we had layups. And we had – we just could never sustain. We couldn't offensively – I think defensively we, we put together um, – Stints where we guarded pretty well, but right. we never could score three straight times down the court. And right. It was just one of those nights, and it was it was a night where um, everything seemed to go their way. And uh, but they deserved it. You know that, that's usually the case. And, and uh, we've played four games, and we deserved to win three of them. And but tonight wasn't uh, you know, it wasn't it was not our night.